question would be, what happened to the kid? The kid to Allah is stay in the castle. Mm. They established castle schools for them. Okay, they trained them to become great people in the community. And they were given for prayer they trained a lot because they carried the white man's blood. And uh, we would assume they went back with them. Yeah, there's yeah. some who were not married, so they took the kids along. There's some who were married, okay, to avoid any family confusion or issue. There's some who were left in the care of other people in Africa. Around you, we call them mulattoes, the mixed breed. So, what was important for them was again to train their mind yeah. to think like an Negro. Yes. So even though they were here, they still would have the mind of also as living in Africa. Yeah. Yes. I recommend this book, Homegoing. They can get the book in there. But yeah, I just see. You have it here? Yes. Those who are not fortunate to be found pregnant here, but they were found pregnant on the ship. Some were thrown overboard. The reason being that they're weak, okay? that we need extra time. Nobody was ready to show those responsibilities. Again, slaves to the new world could be sold at any point in time, and nobody would have pregnant slave. Yeah, there are some who are fortunate enough to allow them to give birth in the new world. Others will give birth in the ship. We have one guy, Ignacio Sancho. He became a writer. He's an African American. And then he also became a freedom fighter. He fought for his people. Anything you want to say? So, this is, even though this was a vent, it was still bringing in water. Yes. Wow. So, there's blood. Cool. Uh, and there's mixture of blood. Let me point that out. Yeah. So you're not just taking your own blood, but other women's. It's scary to watch water just be flowing. Yeah. I yes. don't know what level this water is going to be. You're just sitting there watching the water coming. Door of no return, the final exit. Okay. History tells us that the first man that ever lived lived in Africa, meaning life began in Africa. Whether man existed during evolution or creation, he existed in Africa. If that is the case, then it means that everybody has a bit of Africanness with him. Whether you're black or white. So don't know Trump was so wrong to tell the African Americans to go back to be a shit hole, which is Africa. If Africa is a shit hole, he belongs here too. Mm -hmm. okay. In the New World, Africans were not allowed to retain the African names, they ripped them off of the African identity by giving them Anglo, Christian, European. So in the plantation the Africans were working on was Whitney's plantation. You will carry that search, but with different first English and European We go through the door. But we come back. Except those from Portugal and Uruguay. They're not coming back for scoring us. Is anybody from Portugal? <laughs> what I was about to say. <laughs> oh, look at that. You know what? This is all worth it. Seeing life going on, having a smile on my face. It's really close to it. Like it's not that time the sea could move right to this place. What we found the stones.
They brought in small folk like you see here together. So they could transfer them to the bigger ships or the deeper. There's something I want to do. Yeah, the very first time we had this was in August 1998. There was a festival called the Emancipation Day. At that time, two bones, okay, of some of the descendants of the slaves, they were exhumed from their graves. One from New York, Samuel Cass, and the other from Jamaica, Madame Crystal. These bones were brought back to Africa through the same bridge to the sea to this very castle through the same door to the courtyard to receive <laughs> African traditional funeral. After that, the bones were reburied at Asen Manso, bringing these bones back to Africa, stood for the return of every slave. Yeah, it was done to bridge that gap between those in Africa and those in the Africa. Does anybody watch the legend of the seeker? You watch that. Yeah, Sika was asked to go past Stone of Tears to bridge the gap created by Dark and Roll and okay, the evil one. So the ceremony was like a stone of all tears. Wow. Any questions for me, dear people? Oh, okay. yeah, then we say condemned. Um, I joined you a little bit, right? So those are the graves of the bones that were returned? No. All right. But uh, St. Marshall, uh, two hours drive from here. Uh-huh. So okay. these were just burial ground for the Europeans. Ah, burial ground for the Europeans when they died here. Okay. So... So we can see the graves of the returned bones. Yeah, you can. All right. Saint Marcel. So tell him. Tell him. I know that. We know that place, yeah. so I can take you there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. I get this was a condemned cell. Uh, condemned those slaves who were always ready to tussle, to challenge the why. To fight for your freedom. Yeah, they were graduate to die. Without being fed, giving nothing you drink, there's no one giving her, there's no light. The idea was to stop, to suffocate, to dehydrate, to dehumanize. you This is the only original door left to the We call it there to try and experience what happened. We watch your head. Just say, 
This was unveiled by some of the descendants of the slaves in 2019 during the festival called Tom Going. Okay, this contains the names of some of the descendants. Uh, and on this plaque, you find a scripture Genesis 15 13 to 14. And this scripture contains a prophecy where God told Abraham that a time is going to come, your children will be enslaved. 400 years in a strange land. He says, but do not worry. After that, those years, your children will come back home and reclaim their land. So the African Americans coming back to Africa after 400 years of slavery led to the fulfillment of that prophecy. Yeah, they need that prophecy. God also say, Abraham, yeah, those guys are going to be asleep, but then now the Lord will punish all the nations that enslaved. That's why we don't look up any European here to say that. How the few of them? Because vengeance is on the Lord. Any questions? So the names of the people. We are the children of those who refused to die. Some of the descendants of the slaves. So we go out and we see what Yeah. 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 
Oh, the mean one is bigger than this one, eh? Yeah. Ah, okay. Ooh. Sad story. Thank you. 
The castle, yes. They reflect mirror in the daytime. Reflection of light. The light travels in a straight line. At night, they wave the red flag or anything red to signify danger. That's where they know something is going to happen, like you ready for. All right, I have a question. Okay. What was the role of missionaries in this slave trade? around here because the missionaries had a role in other castles I've visited in Ghana here. What about uh, in this particular area? Okay, so these missionaries coming to Africa already know that Africans were pagans, that they were worshipping other gods and also they were fighting why to conquer more land. So they can get freed. To tell the Africans, I see that you guys are in a conflict. Why? Because you are looking for territories. You want to be valued. But then I present to you this God who does not need you to fight to conquer more territory so that you will be valued. In fact, I'll be in your territory. Okay, so accept me and forsake all of these small gods. Meaning, the missionaries were here to preach the gospel, but there are some missionaries who got corrupted along the way, that they dropped their mission, the original mission, mm -hmm. and then took part in killing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, no comment, <laughs> because uh, when you come in the name of God, you really trust that person who is coming in the name of God. That is what and God. then, yes, and then this is the same person who will lead you yeah. to the door of no return. Yeah. So basically, they come in peace, but it's, it's hidden. It's hidden. It has an agenda. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for that. <laughs> Let's go. We People never agreed, even unhappy. So they didn't just come here and took. The you see, fathers, the forefathers agreed, mm -hmm. sold the land for the car. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they agreed, let's do the business. But you didn't care for the the That's true. If you did, if you did, mm -hmm. you would not allow them to speak. These were brought in by the English. That's correct. It was not just a local attack. Their other European nations were also in. They were interested in the land. Around 1757, the French attacked the castle, not to save the enslaved Africans, but to capture the whole land and be the masters. Yeah. Yeah, there are also some local people who vote. Yeah. If they realize that they've been shortchanged in the middle of the trade, they came back, they, they kidnapped some of the wives, and demanded they pay ransom. 
There are some who receive the ransom and still kill the white people. Typical. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. classroom for those kids born out of free. You know, there are a lot of people who go to church hoping to find God, but they don't find God but guns. I just don't know how God feels out there. He will deal with them someday. So the 2022 restoration, what does that mean? The, the library was in a very bad state. So, okay. uh, Zee Holt, they came here to renovate. Okay. Pretty long to go. Okay. A child who reads will be an outdoor to think. Is that, is that always the case? Mm -hmm. No. Because I know mm -hmm. a lot of readers that will is another, think. That is another example of politicians. Too. Obama's were here in 2009. One of the reasons be that Michelle Obama chose a route here. I end my tour here on campus. If you draw a circle, where do you end? Back where you start. That's why the spirit goes. Whatever goes around, comes around. Everything you do is not thrown away. It will catch up with you one day. You read the final flag. This was by Ghana National House of Chiefs in uh, 1992. Uh, they came to say sorry for being so greedy and ignorant. Right. But they could give people out in exchange for those things. They said they're so sorry. They don't have to read that. I need one person to read this. I can. It's everlasting memory of the anguish of our ancestors. May those who die rest in peace. May those who return find their roots. May humanity never again perpetuate such injustice against humanity. We, the living, vow to uphold this. This is a very great, good, wonderful, amazing message. I trust the message, but I don't trust the messengers. Why? Because they act like chameleon. Chameleon can change their color, but never their nature. We are still in the business of punishing small thieves while electing big ones into public offices. We've got many politicians, but few leaders. How do we do this? How do we uphold this when we got all of these things? We come here, we've got assignment to tackle. Our first assignment would not be to receive everything, but to find out more, to find the truth. How? Where do you find the truth? You don't just read books. You don't just read the scriptures. You study. You ask questions. You listen. You watch. Asking questions. 